how gut bacteria is linked with insulin resistance and obesity. No, absolutely. I mean, and that's a very active field of research as well. So maybe we step back a little bit to see uh, what we're dealing with uh, when we talk about gut bacteria, right? So we have about one a billion bacteria sitting in our mouth per ml. Every cc of our saliva has one million bacteria, right? On one billion. And then as it goes down, it's different types of bacteria with different abundance, meaning that the uh, it's not as much. When you go into the stomach, it's less than 100 per ml all of a sudden. And then when you go to the small bowel, it's less than 1,000. And all of a sudden, in the colon is one trillion bacteria in our colon per ml. If you think about that, there is a gradient of almost 1 million times difference in our small bowel versus our large, large bowel. bowel. Mm -hmm. And all these bacteria do different things. And one of the functions that they have is the way they affect that we digest food, hmm. the way we respond to insulin, and also obesity. Now, specifically, you ask about uh, obesity. It's interesting because throughout our evolution, uh, the gut bacteria has been with us, right? Since our yes. existence, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, if you go back uh, to the three domains of life, we have bacteria, we have archaea, and we have eukarya. Mm -hmm. Eukarya is us, us, the ones with actual cells, right? Mm -hmm. Including fungi, including other animals, including us, and then bacteria and archaea. Funny enough, we're not just eukarya, we also have bacteria in our body, we also have archaea in our body, right? So we are a combination of all three domains of life, which is actually a fascinating thing if you think about of course, it, right? Of course. 